So giving in to temptation that we know is the wrong path needs to be dealt with in two ways at two different times. There's tools and techniques for that very moment. But what's even more powerful is if you can work with it the rest of the time as well. So if you know that you've got a temptation toward and just for your... uh, your reputation in Egypt. I don't actually know this beautiful woman, so the examples I'm going to throw out are not actually what she's struggling with. I'm just throwing them out as examples. If you know that you're struggling with lying or infidelity or alcohol or drug use or stealing, Before you get into a situation where you're going to be tempted to engage in those behaviors, you work with it inside through this power of discrimination. What am I going to get from that? Is it really worth it? You feel so badly afterwards, right? Immediately afterwards, the next day, there's fear that you're going to be found out, that people are going to know. So you end up living in secrecy. You end up living in lies. You end up living in a way that you've got to hide. So you suffer. So in your contemplation, in your introspection, really think about that. Why do I do it? What do I get from it? Make a list of pros and cons so that you can see very clearly this does not serve me. Here's how it hurts me. Here's how it is preventing me from actually moving in my life the way I want to go whether being healthy physically, healthy emotionally, healthy spiritually, whether having healthy, meaningful relationships, whether living honestly, living dharmically, living righteously, whatever it may be, these giving in, living the wrong way, you know is hurting you. Every night when you go to sleep at night, your own mind knows, I live the wrong way. Means the mind essentially says, I am a wrong person. And that is a very, very damaging way of thinking. Whether you are ever caught, ever found out, whether you ever get any negative karmic fruit for it or not. Having to go to sleep every night And look yourself in the mirror, knowing I do things that I know are wrong, is already punishing yourself. Being able to look in your own eyes in the mirror, being able to look in God's eyes in the temple, whatever aspect of the divine we worship, being able to look at God knowing, yes, here I am, not feeling ashamed. That's the greatest gift in the world. Knowing that you're living clearly and truly, and how baki to unki a chai, but at least from your side, that you're living as fully, truthfully, clearly, dharmically, with integrity. And then what ends up happening also is your strength as a person increases. When you know you are a right person, behaving rightly, there becomes a power in your words, in your presence, in your actions, 
because you are moving from truth. That's, that's the power where, where positive leaders have, social leaders, political leaders, but those who are infused with awareness of their own righteousness are those who really have the ability to mobilize others on the right path. So you owe it to yourself. And then in that moment, this is where you need mindfulness. Because what ends up happening is we get swept up. We get swept up, we do it, it's out of habit. We've done it before we even realize we've done it. And this is where a practice of mindfulness is so important. So that you can actually be aware before you do it. You can actually be aware of that feeling of desire, of lust, of greed, of yearning, of anger. You can, you can actually see it and feel it coming long before it has swept you up. And you're able to just look at it. Ah, hi desire, hi anger. Hi, old habit. I see you. You don't get the keys to the car today. I'm driving now. And if you can see it, then you don't give in. So develop a practice of mindfulness. A practice of being aware through your meditation, through your life. Live as mindfully as you can. Little, little things when you walk, when you drink, when you eat, whatever you do. Do it as mindfully as you can to develop a practice of just being mindful of every moment. Such that when that temptation arises, you will be mindful of it. And realize that you're strong. You're stronger than any habit in the brain. You're stronger than any biological chemical. Just because there's a chemical flowing through your body doesn't mean you have to make a certain choice. You're stronger than that. Own that. Know that. Stop kidding yourself that you're weak and small and helpless and powerless. Own that power. You've got it. Own that ability. You've got it. Now use it. And have friends support you. One, two, three. Have sort of an accountability group. Check in every day. Right? This desire arose, I didn't do it. Or I'm feeling really like, in the, oh, I want to do it so badly. And then other people will support you. Come together. Use also that power of those who love you. Beautiful.